We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Getting to the moon is extremely difficult, living there is even more so, and it's not something NASA has a lot of experience with. The last of the Apollo crews, Apollo 17, spent the most time on the moon, just over three days, and that was in 1972. The Apollo missions, a series of lunar explorations, marked a significant period in human history. They not only pushed the boundaries of our technological capabilities, but also fundamentally reshaped our perception of our place in the universe. Apollo 11, the first mission to land humans on the moon, etched an indelible mark in the annals of human achievement. It was a testament to human innovation, courage, and a pioneering spirit that dared to reach out into the unknown. Each subsequent Apollo mission built upon this foundation, uncovering the moon's secrets and providing invaluable insights into its geological makeup. These missions, though short-lived, left a lasting legacy, inspiring generations of scientists, engineers and dreamers. They demonstrated that with determination and the right technology, even the seemingly impossible could become achievable. The technological advancements born out of the Apollo era were nothing short of revolutionary. From the Saturn V rocket, the most powerful machine ever built by humans, to the lunar module, a spacecraft designed to ferry astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface and back. Each innovation was a marvel in its own right. These technological breakthroughs not only propelled us to the moon, but also catalyzed advancements in various fields, from computing to material science. Now, after decades, we are preparing to return to the lunar surface. But why now? What has changed since Apollo? Returning to the moon is not just about retracing the steps of the Apollo astronauts, it's about overcoming new challenges and pushing the boundaries of human capabilities. Let's delve into what these challenges entail. The primary hurdle to lunar exploration is the harsh environment of the moon. Its surface is covered with a fine dust called lunar regolith, which is quite abrasive and can damage spacecraft and spacesuits. It's also a place of extremes, with temperatures that can swing from boiling hot to freezing cold in a matter of hours. This environment poses significant difficulties for both landing and taking off, requiring precision and durability in our spacecraft. Beyond the environmental challenges, there's the matter of logistics. Launching a mission to the moon is a massive undertaking. It involves a complex dance of timing, trajectory and fuel management. The sheer distance, about 239,000 miles, makes it a daunting journey. And once there, we must be able to reliably land on the lunar surface and eventually take off again. But the challenges don't end with arrival. Living on the moon requires sustainable life support systems. We need to be able to provide astronauts with air to breathe, food to eat, and a way to shield them from radiation. The discovery of water on the moon offers exciting possibilities for providing some of these resources, but accessing and utilizing that water is another significant challenge. And then there's the human element. The psychological impact of living in such isolation and in such a harsh environment cannot be underestimated. Ensuring the well-being of astronauts on long-term lunar missions is a critical component of any successful moon mission. These challenges are daunting, but they are not insurmountable. 
With the advancements in space technology, we are now better equipped than ever to conquer them. The journey to the moon is a testament to our curiosity, our ingenuity and our determination. And so we march on, not because it is easy, but because it is hard and because it is a challenge we are willing to accept. Enter the Artemis program, NASA's ambitious plan to not only return humans to the moon, but to establish a sustainable human presence there. It's a bold vision, a leap forward in our journey into the cosmos. Named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, Artemis aims to do what Apollo never could, create a lasting home for humans on the moon. The Artemis program is not without its challenges, but the rewards are great. The moon is rich in resources that could support life and fuel exploration. One of the most crucial of these resources is water. Recent discoveries have revealed that water exists in the moon's polar regions, a fact that has dramatically reshaped NASA's goals. Water is not just vital for life support, it could also be used to produce rocket fuel, opening up the possibility of the moon serving as a launch pad for missions to Mars and beyond. But how do we access this lunar water? And once we have it, how do we use it? These are questions that the Artemis program is designed to answer. To achieve its goals, NASA is developing cutting-edge technologies. These include nuclear reactors for power and heat, and solar farms that can harness the sun's energy even during the long lunar night. Alongside these technological developments, NASA is also addressing the challenges of living on the moon. For instance, lunar regolith, the moon's surface material, poses a significant threat to human health and equipment. NASA is working on ways to safely manage this lunar dust. The Artemis program also aims to ensure the safety of astronauts. Living on the moon is a daunting proposition. The environment is harsh and the distance from Earth means that help is not immediately at hand. NASA is developing new protocols and technologies to ensure that astronauts can live and work on the moon for extended periods. The Artemis program represents a significant step towards expanding human presence beyond Earth. But NASA is not alone in this endeavor. Partnerships with private companies are playing a crucial role in the new era of lunar exploration. Companies like SpaceX are revolutionizing space travel, bringing fresh ideas and resources to the table. Together, they're creating a future where humans are not just visitors to the moon, but residents. A future where our reach extends not just to our closest celestial neighbor, but to the stars beyond. In this new era of space exploration, NASA has found partners in private companies like SpaceX that are revolutionizing space travel. This partnership has ushered in an exciting new chapter, aptly referred to as the New Space Race. Instead of nations competing against each other, like in the 20th century, we now see collaboration between public agencies and private entities working together to push the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. Take SpaceX, for instance. This private company has shaken up the industry with its reusable rocket technology, drastically reducing the cost of reaching space. Imagine if every airplane was discarded after a single flight. Air travel would be prohibitively expensive. That's how space travel was until SpaceX introduced reusable rockets. This innovation has not just made space more accessible, but it has also contributed to the Artemis program's feasibility and sustainability. But it's not just about SpaceX. Numerous other private companies like Blue Origin and Rocket Lab are also making significant strides in space technology. They are developing innovative solutions to overcome the challenges of space travel from advanced propulsion systems to lunar landers. These companies are playing a critical role in NASA's ambitious plans to establish a sustainable human presence on the Moon and eventually Mars. What's more, the commercialization of space is driving rapid technological advancement. The competition among these companies is fostering an environment of innovation and creativity that was unimaginable just a few decades ago. From launching satellites to planning manned missions to Mars, these private entities are redefining what's possible. Together, NASA and these private companies are leading us into a new era of space exploration. The return to the moon is not just a journey of technological prowess. It's a journey of human spirit and determination. 
It's an adventure that calls to the curious, the courageous, the dreamers. It's a story that unfolds with each new discovery, each challenge overcome, each step we take towards the stars. And you, dear listener, are part of this story. Your curiosity, your courage, your dreams are what fuel this journey. We invite you to join us to follow along on this adventure, to learn more about the wonders of space exploration, to ask questions, to share your insights and ideas. Your voice matters. Your thoughts can spark new ideas, new solutions, new ways of seeing and understanding our universe. So let's embark on this journey together. Let's explore, discover and dream. Let's reach for the stars. Subscribe for more updates on space exploration and share your thoughts in the comments section. Together, we can reach for the stars.